is a search tool that lists topics contained within the source in alphabetical order. The index will lead you to a relevant statutory provision if you're using a code, or a page number if you're using a secondary source, for example. By contrast, a table of contents presents all the contents of a source by its main headings or chapter titles as it appears in the source itself. This strategy is best if you have some familiarity with the source organization and are comfortable searching by browsing. This video will demonstrate using an index and a table of contents for both a statutory code and an encyclopedia on legal research platforms Westlaw Edge and LexisPlus. First, let's take a look at the United States Code annotated on Westlaw Edge as an example of a statute. From the homepage, my first step is to select statutes and court rules. Then United States Code annotated. The landing page for the USCA is considered a table of contents on Westlaw Edge, which you may use to browse by title. The index is accessible from the list of links on the right side of the screen in the callout box labeled Tools and Resources. Note that this menu on Westlaw is the best place to look for an index or other types of search tools for both primary and secondary sources. So if I'm looking for statutory provisions on the topic of endangered species, for example, I can either browse the alphabetical list of terms across the top of the page or use a keyword search in the search box, which is limited at this point to searching only the index. When I navigate to E in the alpha list and scroll down to endangered species, you can also use control F in your browser at this point. The results present me with more specific terms and specific section numbers in the USCA. Rely on the keywords you brainstormed in your research plan to help you navigate this index. Let's switch to Lexis Plus for an example of a secondary source and look at American jurisprudence. From the homepage, I'm going to call up Amjur by its title. The landing page for Amjur on Lexis Plus is its table of contents. Using the table of contents for a source requires some familiarity with its organization. If the source is new to you, you may want to consider another search strategy. For this example, I know that I'm looking for general background information about adoption. Specifically, consent to adoption. In a table of contents, I would open the section on adoption and continue to narrow by subject to an applicable section or group of sections, like so. Note that there is no index to Amjur available on Lexis Plus. If index searching is your preferred method of search for a source, be sure to check availability on both research platforms. Amjur is a good example. An index is available on Westlaw in the Tools and Resources menu, but not on Lexis. I also want to show you an index to a statute on Lexis because it is a little bit different than on Westlaw. We're back on the homepage and I'm going to call up the United States Code Service. I know that Lexis publishes the United States Code Service, or USCS, an annotated version of the United States Code. If I slow type USCS into the global search bar, I see multiple options for sources to select. Take note that the index is the last option in the list. And when I make that selection, I go directly to the index. There is no menu available that's comparable to the tools and resources callout box on Westlaw that we saw, so you must use the search bar to call up the index and some of the other search tools. Use this video as a reference when performing searches in Westlaw Edge and Lexis Plus going forward, and check in with your legal research professor with any questions about searching with an index or a table of contents.